Welcome to today's vlog. Guys, we are out here someplace special. We are out here at Birch Lake. If you guys follow our vlogs, you know we love Birch Lake. Um, we used to come out here every year for, we did it, gosh, I don't even know how many years, lots of years, seven, 10, I don't know, seven years or so. We'd come out here every summer and we'd spend about three to four days and it is amazing. Say a huge thank you to Ielson Air Force Base and the force support um, crew over there, particularly Wendy Brandon who set this up for us to be able to come and show you guys what it is like here on the military side. Generally this is just for the military folks and it is beautiful. It is awesome. There is a civilian side that kind of wraps around the lake here and off to the side. Still a gorgeous area. They don't have any cabins but they do have like tent sites and RV sites. So super super great I'm gonna be out here for a day or so probably about a day and a half it is in August so it's a little bit colder than what I'm used to but uh, it's still beautiful nonetheless I mean look at this lake it's awesome hooked us up with a luxury cabin so you get to be able to see the one with actual running water I think there's two out here that actually have running water and then um, all the rest of the cabins do not have any running water um, but the bathhouse there is a bathhouse that's right right in there you are into like not full on camping or more interested in like starting off camping so not full blown like going to the Alaskan wilderness this is a great option because you still have all the amenities we're about 45 minutes to an hour outside of town so if you forget something it's right there um, and it's a great they have it set up so nice and the cabins are wonderful so um, yeah so we're gonna go drop the wave runner in and go hit this lake before it gets super cold here's your vest got my vest Let's do it I'm gonna take it on should we get the GoPro yeah I should get the GoPro. Rocket. I should get that GoPro. All right, let us go head that way and we'll show you around Birch Lake. I want to be daring, baby. That's the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Yep. There's your key, awesome. and if you need us, we're in the lodge 10 to 6 every day. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. This is where all the kids are gonna sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Daddy, we get to sleep up in a loft. Are you serious? Yes, come come look, bud. We get to sleep all the way up there. Whoa. This is oh, a loft. Here, it's perfect for us. Come on, Daddy, come on. <laughs> look at it. What do you can think? Turn... Oh, there's windows. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're sleeping. <gasps> Dad, this is the little house on the prairie. I know that we haven't really 
said it officially, but my sister's here. Joy. <laughs> I'm a little cold. Wow, gosh. The only one out here with a blankie. Yeah, and, she's uh, from Arizona. Two jackets on. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit chilly, but she got to. She just got in. Day Friday before yesterday. Morning. Day before yesterday. So she was able to swing out with us, including mom as well. And then Bert's mom and dad came out, and Auntie, Jessica, and Lance are also out here with the fam. Bam, it's a good time. So they have this pretty cool boathouse where they um, offer rentals. So if you wanted to come out and rent like a paddle boat, or canoes, like a motorboat, they even have like these big uh, pontoon type boats that you can come out and rent. Pretty cool if you don't have one already. That way you can at least get out on the water, maybe do some fishing. A lot of people are fishing right now. We are actually gonna head up to the cabin. We're gonna go cook some dinner um, and then probably maybe go out on the boat a little bit later tonight. So thankful oh, it is not gosh. raining. So we're gonna go get some dinner started, hang out at the cabin for a little bit and maybe we'll have some fun festivities down on the beach later on tonight. Are you enjoying it, Mom? Yeah, I'm having a blast. So they got to come out. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Out here camping, of course, having a good time. Always just sort of like the place to go to for us locals, I would say Birch Lake, because it's kind of centralized the Delta, you know, fairly close to Fairbanks North Pole, and it's just it's like super quiet. And well, except for some of the military guys that are having a good time. <laughs> kind of a really relaxing thing for us, and it's the sort of camping, but not really, but at least it's nice to get away and, you know, it's, it's a good time. So question for you, um, wherever you're at or where you live, do you have like a little getaway camping area or camping place or just a place that you like to go to to just get away from your home? I would love to know down below. Uh, but yeah, I, like if you don't mind sounding off like where you are and then like do you just, do you like to go to a place to just have peace and quiet, get away, maybe not necessarily camping, but just an experience of, of getting away. So for us, that is Birch Lake because it's just uh, super easy to do. Uh, if you're busy, and it seems like our life's always crazy busy, we can usually try to carve out some time for Birch Lake. Alrighty, so I'm going to take my sister and my mom out on the old jet ski along with my sister-in-law. Let's hope I don't like topple it over. Should be a good time though. What's the worst that can happen? I don't want to go in the well, water. What's the worst that can happen? I can happen? go in the water. That's it. <laughs> You're not going to die. It's the worst. No, we cannot. We can't go in the water. We cannot go in the water. It's going to be fine. Brad, let us do it. Is this even on? Is it on? Is it? Okay. Good, Mom. It was, my arm was burning. I'm ready to do this. Do you want me to go slow or fast?
hold on to me or no? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I've been close with you before, Jess, but. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's water. sister left. Doug and Wendy, they headed out. It's getting a little bit later, but just us and the violets now. 
Um, let me go show you where they're staying. So this is our cabin right down here. So you can rent cabins, you can do tents, and you can also do RVs. So it's pretty fantastic. It's such a cool little area. I will say this. Hear that? Yeah, keep that in mind. That's their little campsite. You got some campers over here. And they have them kind of scattered throughout the little area and there's like some tent sites. Depending on what size RV you have will kind of depend on where you um, want to hook up to or stay. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. So I'm grateful that we at least get to go spend a couple days out. It's just good sometimes, you know, to unplug, relax, and just put away the phones and the workload and everything like that and just kind of have fun and spend it as a family. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to maybe start up a fire, maybe cook some s'mores and call it a night. Bring your pets here. I know you cannot keep your pets in the cabin, but around the campsite you can, but you cannot take your pets on the beach. So keep that in mind. If you guys have fur babies, you cannot bring them out here um, and have them go on the beach and whatnot, but they can stay up in your camper area, but just not inside the cabins. If you are wanting to come out to this facility, make sure you book it early because they tend to book up pretty fast, especially during those really warm months because it's just beautiful. The lake is wonderful. And like I said, guys, this is only like about 45 minutes out of the way of where we actually live. So, you know, it's not, it's not a huge truck, you know, you're not out in the wilderness where you can't get too much. So it's a great option if you guys just want to give the old Alaskan camping a little bit of a try. I, I mean, honestly, I would call this glamping because it's pretty nice. I mean, we have running water and everything. Call this one a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. You guys have been killing it and we have seen actually just, we've seen a lot of growth, so it's encouraging. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take it away, kids.